Good afternoon, people. How's everybody doing today? We got another finished build on deck. Hope everybody had a nice weekend. It is Monday at 1.30 in the afternoon. Not, not bad out there. It's uh, better than the last few days. We've had nothing but rain the, the last three days. And I mean the rivers come up quite a bit, trust me. Um, but uh, other than that, we're in the, we're like 60 degrees, but it's windy out. And it's supposed to be showers on and off all week, so who knows. But anyway, I got that car done. This is all done. All finished. All finished. We can get rid of the box. Hmm. You old Winberg kits, you know, uh... Uh, directions ought to be desired. <laughs> yeah, put it here, put it there. That's about it. No, uh, no queer where to put it. And a couple of times I had to add things in backwards. So yeah, it, it was fun. Trust me. So I thought we would do a little re uh, history of the 1910 Model T Ford Torpedo Roadster. I'm gonna spin you around so you ain't, you ain't looking at my mo Oh, look at that, huh? <clears throat> That's a little better. All right, anyway. Um, the Model T Ford, known as the car that put America on wheels, was manufactured for 19 years, from 1908 to 1927. By June of 27, over 15 million T's had been built. Uh, America's all-time favorite car, Henry Ford's Model T, was known as the Fliver, the Jitney, the Jalopy, and the Tin Lizzie. Powered by the famous four-cylinder Ford engine of 20 horsepower, the T had a top speed of 42 miles an hour. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so without further ado, boys, without further ado, let's go take a look. I think she come out pretty good. Oh, uh, plexiglass was ordered Friday for that. It's supposed to be either done today or tomorrow. So, and I can get the case made and get that down to the library. All right, here she is. 1910 Ford Model T Torpedo Roadster. There'll be pictures at the end of the end if you don't want to hang around. Um, all the red is vinyl. All the red that you see is, is vinyl. Um, I had some uh, decals that were from, I forget what car I just built. And I said, I didn't like them on the car, but I said, I'll hang on to those. And they were perfect for this. The horn is a piece of wire that came in the kit, actually. Hmm. Uh, well, the only thing I did, I put, I put that gauge in. It was when I looked uh, on, I did some research, and there was a big gauge right there. So I made one, and uh, we put her in. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm real happy with how this turned out. Very happy with how this came. I wouldn't mind taking a blast on this. This, this lower window, you could flip this lower window up. Um, that's how they wanted you to put it together, but there wasn't a whole lot to glue together there um, So I was like, you know what? I'll just put it down. It don't make it. It don't make a difference um, Simple motor force. There's nothing I'm not gonna take that that hood off because it's a pain in the ass to get back on so But yeah, I'm real happy with how she looks like I said, I'll leave pictures in the in the end uh, Underneath can we pick it up without breaking it in? Underneath, there we go. Brass tubing for the uh, drive shaft. And you had to watch how you put that drive shaft in because those two stabilizer bars from the rear end fit into the in, into that. They said it's supposed to have working steering, but uh, there's no way that that steering works. Uh, all it does is bend bend that wheel. It doesn't. If you try to turn the wheel, it does not turn these. I don't know what the hell they were thinking for engineering, but but that ain't it. 
But yeah, I'm pretty, I'm real happy. I love these cars, man. I just love this era cars. Really like this era of cars. So, let me know what you think, boys. Let me know what you think. I'll leave pictures at the end uh, from the model works. We'll, uh, we'll see what's next. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I don't know what I'm going to do next. We'll see. Next video. Uh, and then uh, you'll probably see a Napoleon video update from me today, too. So, we will talk soon. Peace out.